there are mainly three strategies that you can follow to apply for PhD abroad. The first one is cold email, the second online procedure and the third one is the scholarship. Hello future scientists, welcome to my channel Yes We STEM. I am Sharda Saini from University of Surrey and I am here to guide you and help you to get a fully funded PhD in a foreign university. So the question I receive from these students that how they can apply for the PhD abroad. So there are mainly three strategies that you can follow to apply for PhD abroad. The first one is cold email, the second online procedure and the third one is the scholarship. So the first one is the cold email. What I mean by cold email is just an introductory email that you send to a professor that you have never met. So as you know that professors have this faculty website and when you go to the website just get a little more idea about the professor research and then see if its research aligns with your research area and if it does so then email him or her and then expect a response. So it might happen that you don't get response or there are so many negative responses as well but don't be disheartened it happens with everyone you know when i was applying for the phd then i every day mail to 50 professors and i get more negative responses than positive and in some cases some doesn't reply me and i still say that you should keep emailing consistently because you don't know which is your lucky day right because i I received this PhD with cold email only. You know, I emailed my supervisor and then she helped me how to apply and then I got this position. So this really works. So I really encourage you to email as many professors as possible whose research interest is, you know, similar to yours. And if you need any more details about this cold email method please let me know in the comment section i will make another video for that the second route is the online application and i think who are applying for the phd abroad they all know about the online application right the important thing to notice here is that we have separate procedure for the europe and the uk and for the us uh, us generally hire its phd students by the universities so if you are looking for phd in the us then you should select all the universities you are interested in and then see the department deadline of the process and uh, then you can apply for it according to that deadline if you are targeting us for the fall 23 i will say please hurry up because they really end up in December like most of the deadlines are in December 1 2022 for the fall 2023 so if you are targeting US then you should hurry up but if you are looking for PhD in UK or Europe then the positions are available all the time so there is not spring or fall session there there are so many open websites like findaphd.com jobs.ac.uk and uh, other which I will mention in the link below you can check it from there so there are so many positions and you can see which one matches your research interest and if it does then you can see how you can apply for that and that makes you and into a PhD position in UK Europe so these are the two procedures for us and uk europe and i think that i'm going to make a separate video for this online application for us uk and europe so that you can get better idea so if you have any question regarding this application procedure please let me know in the comment section so that i can include all those answers in my next video of application procedure okay so now the third route is the scholarships and there are so many scholarships for the young researchers that you have no idea about like vice chancellor scholarships breaking the barriers in commonwealth and many more so 
these are really very important if you want to try for phd and you are not getting funding so that time these scholarships works and i think that every scholarship have a different criteria but overall the main thing is that first you need you need a potential supervisor who can support your application and in some cases you have to develop a research proposal with the supervisor yes, and i will say it is a tedious process to develop a research proposal but there are not so many people going for it so that uh, might be your chance so if you are getting any scholarship please go for it and maybe you can get it so just try these are the three strategies you can follow anyone you want and you have any questions about it please tell me i will be happy to help you with that so for now bye bye and all the best for your applications